Man, L-D-M-M-A-C. Y'all know I had to talk about this, man. Y'all know I had to talk about this, man. So, J. Leon Love. J. Leon Love talking some good shit to Tyron Woodley. You know what, man? J. Leon Love said that, hey, if Tyron Woodley wanted to do something, he'd have done it. <laughs> I saw him three times. Listen, 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 listen. Let's get something straight, okay? Maybe, maybe not so much in a boxing ring. Maybe not so much in a boxing ring. Tyron could probably beat Jay. He probably couldn't beat him in a boxing ring. Probably. But y'all know Jay Leon Love, he real chinny. So, I mean, you catch him just right, you know, he going to sleep. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if Tyron Woodley hit him hard enough, he'd he go to sleep. I mean, it's not like Jay Leon Love was the best boxer on the planet. Actually, Jay Leon Love was a mediocre boxer. Let's just be real. He was very mediocre. And actually, Big D, get into a boxing ring, I would actually give Tyron Woodley a bigger chance to win. <laughs> I would give him a chance to win because if you clip Jay Leon Love, you're going down. Like, Jay Leon, you know, you're talking like you was like this great, great boxer. You were okay. People knew you because you was up under the Mayweather and the Bandit. I mean, let, let's just be real. People knew who the hell you were because you were up under the Mayweather banner. And the only reason why you got known is because of Floyd Mayweather. But Floyd Mayweather probably got tired of watching you getting knocked out. Yeah, you're real chinny. If he really, really want to smoke with Tyron Woodley, I'm talking about on the spot, Tyron Woodley would destroy and dismantle this dude in a straight-up fight. I'm talking about in a straight-up fight. Not a boxing match, okay? Because, you know, Jay Leon said, oh, if he wanted to do something, he'd have done it. I mean, Jay Leon, you were running your mouth. He's not going to attack you because, you know, he, he ends up, he goes up, he beats the hell out of you because that's what would happen. He would beat the living hell out of you. You know, man ain't trying to get sued. He ain't trying to fight on the street. He get paid to fight in the octagon. But if you were really about that life, you'd have tried him because you were talking. I guarantee you, if Jay Leon Love tried to even take, you know, Tyron Willie, try to get him, it wouldn't have ended the way that he wanted it to. Wouldn't have ended. It wouldn't end it right. <laughs> it wouldn't end it well. See, you know, you have a lot of boxers, man. They they real tough, man. They talk tough, and it's like, yeah, we understand mixed martial artists, man. They they can't really deal with you in in a boxing ring. We 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 get that. But it's like they start talk, talking real tough, like you gonna whoop his ass right down the street. Nah, and you know what? He was talking reckless because you know he had people with him. He was talking real reckless. But I guarantee you, had they been one on one, I guarantee you. Not only would he have not been talking so reckless, he still wouldn't have busted great. See, here go the thing, man. Boxers, y'all got one tool. MMA fighter, they got several tools. You know, Tyron Woolley, man, could, could eat a shot or not eat a shot, sprawl, get him to the ground, choke you out, break your arm. Damn man is dangerous. His whole body is almost a lethal weapon. I mean, yeah, I mean, talk that to him now. If he wanted to do something, he'd have done something. Dude, on the street, there's nothing that you can do. You're going to get hurt. See, I don't like when guys like Jay Leon Love, you know, these people, he was, he was, he wasn't really that great a fighter. And every time he took a top level fight, you know, he got his ass whooped. But he talking, he talking, you talking like you were the best boxer under God's hot sun. And I'm sitting here, I'm shaking my head like, dude, is he serious? Is Jay Leon Love actually, like, 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 really, really this serious? You know, Tyron Woodley kept his composure. I'm not really a Tyron Woodley fan. Not really. Not even a fan of Woodley, but he kept his composure. He kept his composure. He was just chilling, you know? See, the person that talks the least is the person that's got the most control, and that's going to do, that's going to give out an ass whooping. Tyron Woodley said very little. I mean, it's like when you know that what you do is you really, you go in there and you fight, you fight for a living, and you know that you can go in there and whoop people, you can say, oh man, he mad because he, he mad because he, 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 he done lost four times. Well, I mean, I tell you what, you get an octagon. Why don't you fight him in the octagon to see if you can beat him? See, notice that Jay Leon Love just kept saying a boxing match. Well, I mean, I mean, you so big and bad, go take him out in the octagon. I mean, go do it. I mean, you said, you said he'll lose her anyway. Said he depressed, you should be able to go in there and whoop his ass. I mean, I'll wait. I'll wait for Jay Leon Love to call him out and say, hey, let's fight Noction. I'll wait for that. But we know that's not going to happen. Hell, 
I don't even think Jay, uh, Jay Leon Love wouldn't even make it out the first round in an octagon with Tyron Brown Willie. He wouldn't even make it out the first round. Man, he'd be submitted before he even knew better. See, this thing, man, you know, boxers, I don't know, it's just boxers don't respect MMA fighters like that until a real fight happens. Boxers don't respect the, the art. The, the, they don't respect the craft of mixed martial art. They don't respect it until they got a fight. Now, see, had Tyron Willie put hands on him, it wouldn't have been sweet. Boxing is a good skill to know when you're in a street fight. It's good. MMA is a much better skill in a street fight. Much better. Because, see, if all you know how to do is boxing and the fight happened to go to the ground, that's it. You're done. You're done. You got to know where to take the fight. Tyron Willie can take the fight. He can take the fight on the feet. If he can't be successful on the feet, he'll take it to the ground. And then finish you there. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. You know, guys like Jay Leon, man, they, they, they talk a good game. And he probably might be a better trainer than he is a fighter because, damn, he, he showed sure show hell of a show hell of wasn't a great fighter. But they talk a good game, man. They talk and talk and talk. How many times you done seen this idiot, him, and what's that other idiot there, man? That, you know, he used to cry after fights they lose. What's the, what's the dude's name, man? I forgot the guy's name, man. Um, uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Look, light-skinned dude with the lemon-ass head. Um, uh, his name will come back to me. See, he must have been a nobody, man. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, Isaiah, uh, no. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Ishe Smith. Yeah, Ishe Smith. That little lemon drop head uh, fool. You know, he used to be crying and stuff. Yeah, that's Jay Leon Love, whining, get beat, whining. Wasn't really a great fighter, man. No. Average guy. Average guy talking above average. Shh. Well, you your chance, Jay Leon. I mean, go ahead. Tell Tyron Willie you want to fight him in Octagon. You still running your mouth. You still talking. But I doubt you'll do that. I don't think you'll do it because you know as well as I do that in boxing, in some fights, you are out of your element. And in MMA, you definitely out your element. 